Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you Windows 11 25H2 or Windows 12. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just under this video. Let's get started. So, you might be comparing here or you're wondering which is better, Windows 11 25H2, which is the version of Windows 11, or Windows 12. So, in this case, let's first clear things out here. Windows 12 isn't happening in 2025. Now, despite all the rumor, or rumors out there, leaks, or any information that you may be get getting out there, Microsoft isn't ready to jump to a brand new version just yet. But instead, we're getting is Windows 11 25H2, and yes, it's almost 100% confirmed here. There are already traces of it or Windows code, so it's not spec speculation here. Uh, this version is actually coming. Now, you might be asking here, what is uh, 25H2 exactly? So, yeah. So, in this case, uh, it's basically a, a next major update for Windows 11. So, expected sometime near the end of 2025. But here's the twist here. It's not a whole new OS, but instead, it's like a... Uh, it's likely to be like what is called like an enablement package. That means Windows 11 25H2 won't feel like a massive overhaul. Instead, it's more like a like a version bump, uh, a stump on top of smaller updates that were uh, gradually released over time. And instead of one big launch day where everything drops up once, Microsoft will quietly release features month by month throughout 2025. Then near at the end of the year, they'll wrap it up and label it as 25H2. And yeah. So how does that actually work? So again, like what I said, it's an incremental feature uh, feature drops. So in this case, this approach is kind of cool. If you think about it, instead of waiting a whole year for big changes, Microsoft is planning to release smaller updates more frequently, possibly one each month at least the first six months of 2025. So if you're running, uh, running to, uh, Windows 11, your system will keep evolving without you needing to install massive update all at once. So you may get the uh, frequent update requests or um, in this case, restart requests on your PC whenever you start using it in when uh, in your PC if you have like Windows 11 so yeah especially this is handy for people who just want their computer to feel smoother over time without a disruptive full upgrade so we all know that are waiting for the full uh for updates to complete like uh, hours from now uh can be kind of dreading but yeah so they'll be uh releasing smaller updates instead so uh, what's the update actually for? So in this case, while well, AI has been a big push in recent Windows updates, this time around, uh, there's hope that Microsoft will focus more on practical features like stuff regular users want, like think performance optimization, better support for gaming and editing here, and just making the system more uh, responsive instead of focusing on AI. But yeah, so in this case, that's all that we could actually uh, we actually know right now. So. Uh, Windows 11 25H2, uh, the next version for Windows 11, is definitely coming here. But Windows 12, mm, not yet. As of this moment, not yet. But something in the future, maybe they will release that. But yeah, in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.